Uh, people ask the question, how come quantum computers are so powerful? The question, if this is the era of quantum computers, what lies beyond? What could possibly come after the quantum revolution? In a world where technology is advancing at breakneck speeds, quantum computing and artificial intelligence stand as the trailblazers of a new era. Quantum computers, with their ability to process complex computations at speeds unthinkable before, and artificial intelligence with its capacity to learn and evolve are transforming our world. But how do they relate? What sparks fly when these two technological titans meet? Well, first of all, AI is a software program. It's a software question. However, quantum computers is bigger than that. Quantum computers is a hardware question, where it actually increases your ability to do much more than with an ordinary digital computer. So the two of them, the uh, chatbots that are a revolution in software, and then quantum computers, which are a revolution in hardware, when they get together, watch out. So we're talking about an extremely powerful alliance between software and hardware. Quantum computers harness the peculiarities of quantum physics to process information in ways far beyond the reach of even the most advanced classical computers. Using quantum bits, or qubits, they can manage and store massive amounts of data, perform complex calculations simultaneously and solve intricate problems in mere seconds. But what could this mean for our future? Could the rise of quantum computing herald a new era in global security, reshaping our understanding of encryption and decryption? These quantum computers can crack any known digital code. So this means the crown jewels of any nation, with all their top secrets about the military and defense posture, all of that can be broken into by an advanced quantum computer. But of course, everybody else in the sciences are interested, because this means better cars, rockets, food, energy, we're talking about veiling the secrets of the Big Bang, the understanding of black holes, neutron stars. In other words, everything is going to be affected when we can multiply the power of digital computer by a factor of millions to billions. So we're talking about a new era in computation that'll change everything. Here's a fascinating fact. While a classical bit can be in one of two states, zero or one, a quantum bit or qubit, can be in a superposition of states, embodying both zero and one simultaneously. This is the secret behind the astronomical computational power of quantum machines. But could this unrivaled power ignite a new kind of competition, a global race not just for technological supremacy but for quantum dominance? Is the advent of quantum computing sparking a new arms race? Well, computers have gone through three stages. The first stage was analog computers when we computed on sticks, levers, gears, we would turn the crank to do a calculation. Then comes electricity so it, and the transistor. So all of a sudden, everything becomes a matter of zeros and ones, zeros and ones, and digital. And that's the computer revolution of today. This is the ultimate computer. You can't do better than that, computing on atoms. And that's what the quantum computer is all about. They exist already. They are millions of times more powerful than our most powerful digital computer on certain tasks. So there's a race, a race between China, between IBM, Google, Microsoft, a race to see who can get the first all-purpose quantum computer to put on the marketplace, which will change everything. The CIA is interested in this. All the big commercial banks are interested in this. Aerospace, energy, you name it, everyone is interested in who is going to be first to bring out a commercialized quantum computer that could outrace any normal computer by a factor of a million. The quantum revolution is not just about speed and power. It's about reshaping the very fabric of our society. As we grapple with the challenges of misinformation and truth discernment, the potential of quantum computers to sift through vast amounts of data with unprecedented accuracy is tantalizing. Could we possibly see a future where quantum computers serve as the ultimate fact-checkers, reliably separating truth from fiction in a world awash with data? Is this the dawn of a new era of truth powered by quantum computing? Quantum computers can act as a fact-checker. You can ask a quantum computer to remove all the garbage, remove all the nonsense in these articles, and it'll do that. So, in other words, the hardware may be a check on some of the wild statements made by software.
with a quantum computer, you can fact check things. And then you can say, this is 90% correct. This is totally wrong. This is sometimes correct. And you, you get gradations of what is correct and incorrect. If this is not done legally, if there are no laws passed in this direction, and it's like the Wild West, then of course the politicians get involved and it becomes a real mess. Yeah. We do know that you cannot yell fire in a crowded theater. Therefore, there are limits to free speech, and we get that. But how do you make limits on statements that are written on the web that no human can possibly follow? That's where quantum computers can come in. Quantum computers are powerful enough to survey the entire landscape and give reasonable rebuttals to things that are just outrageous. Quantum computers, with their ability to perform calculations at an unparalleled scale, could potentially be the key to unlocking some of the universe's greatest mysteries. They might even help us model complex quantum phenomena, such as the early universe or black holes. But here's an intriguing thought. Could we be the only ones dabbling in this realm? Could advanced alien civilizations have already mastered quantum computing, harnessing its power to build civilizations far beyond our imagination? Quantum computers are the ultimate computers because they're competing on atoms. If there are aliens in outer space, and I think there are, it means that they also have perfected quantum computers and they can do calculations that are far beyond anything that we can calculate with. Like, for example, a wormhole. A wormhole, in principle, is a gateway between two distant points of space and time, which allows you to break the Einstein barrier and go faster than the speed of light. But the calculations are horrendous. It may take a quantum computer to sort through what happens when you go through a wormhole and wind up on the other side of the universe. And the aliens probably already have done that probably had centuries of experience with quantum computers because that's the ultimate computer. You can't compute in anything smaller than an atom. And they probably already have used the quantum computers to navigate through wormholes, let's say, hypothetically. Why are quantum computers so staggeringly powerful? It all comes down to the principles of quantum mechanics they exploit. Two key properties make them fundamentally different from classical computers. Superposition and entanglement. Superposition allows quantum bits or qubits to exist in multiple states at once, vastly increasing computational capacity. Entanglement, a phenomenon Einstein famously dubbed spooky action at a distance, links qubits in such a way that the state of one instantly influences the other no matter the distance. These quantum phenomena enable quantum computers to process enormous amounts of information simultaneously. But could there be even more to this quantum supremacy? Quantum computers allows us to calculate things that are way beyond our ability to calculate today, like going through a wormhole or warp drive, or even the question of multiple universes. Uh, people ask the question, how come quantum computers are so powerful? It's because they compute in parallel universes. This is the multiverse, which of course Marvel Comics has discovered and the Oscars have discovered recently. But m the multiverse idea comes from quantum physics. Electrons can be two places at the same time. Now, some people have a hard time getting their head around that, but get used to it. That's why we have lasers. That's why we have transistors. That's why we have the internet. That's why we have this conversation. Because the electrons that are in this microphone dance between universes at the atomic level. And so we have to get used to the idea that quantum computers introduces a whole new way of looking at reality. Now, reality is not a Marvel comic. But the idea of the multiverse comes from quantum physics, and that is electrons can be multiple places at the same time. In the ever-evolving journey of technological advancement, quantum computing has had its notable milestones. Take, for instance, Google AI Quantum's groundbreaking achievement in 2019. They conducted calculations on their Sycamore quantum computer that were more than three million times faster than Summit, then the world's most advanced classical computer, this leap was not just a stride, but a quantum leap towards a future once deemed the stuff of science fiction. It begs the question, if this is the era of quantum computers, what lies beyond? What could possibly come after the quantum revolution? I think that the step beyond quantum computing is nuclear computing. Because quantum computing computes on electron shells. We're talking about the electron shells that give us the Bohr atom, electrons going around the nucleus. Right. But the nucleus itself is nuclear, and it also is quantum mechanical. And that, in principle, is stable. 
so you can make things out of it. Of course, if you don't watch out, you could hit critical mass, in which case that would ruin your day. Thanks for watching. And to make sure you don't miss out on anything by subscribing.